Soldado prevenido no muere en guerra. This means that a prepared soldier will not die in war. This is a quote my friend Juan Lee is living by. And it's so important to him because he's such a hard worker. And he has fun through so much in his life, so, so much. And when I meet so much, I really want to emphasize it because I'm going to get to it. It's a lot. <laughs> but he always found a way to keep his head up, which is so impressive. Because I fail to do that. I get down, and I thrive to be like him. He is an amazing person. He always keeps his head up, finds the bright side in his path, finds the positivity every single part. And we can see this throughout his childhood and as he grew up. He grew up in Colombia, Venezuela, and California as a kid. Moving back and forth, back and forth is nothing easy for anyone. He could, it was hard to adapt for him. But I asked him, was it hard? He was like, I made it work. If you ask me, no, I can't move. <laughs> it was so hard for me to come over here from where I live. It was incredibly hard. So I appreciate his attribute, really appreciate his attribute. Uh, he had a well-off life all, for the majority of his life. But unfortunately, the day when his mom and his dad broke, broke up and got divorced, Life took a turn, a drastic turn. Um, his, his mom lost her license as a therapeutic, therapeutic, I'm so sorry for the pronunciation, um, license in California, and lost her job, everything, profession, and she couldn't work as a therapeutic person for five years, which caused them to lose everything that is monetarily valuable to them. Their house, their car, that, like everything they you can imagine, jewelry, they have to sell it off to get them a living, which is, you can't even believe it. I was like tearing up when I had first heard it. It's incredible. But this guy, this guy right there, did an amazing job with coping with it. He kept his head up. And during this time, he realized there's good goods in life. He was interested in music, but he fell in love during this time. Because it was a way for him to be calm, get distracted, and sing. And like maybe singing was a relief for him from all of this stress. He's such a successful guy. He has a he he started school in a, a conservatory in California at the age of twelve, and he had a full scholarship. He was alone with his dad, and his mom had to work in Portland, Oregon. It's incredible for me. For like, I don't think I could live without my mom and my dad. That's why I'm struggling right now too. Mm -hmm. um, with a, with the full scholarship, he was able to travel the world. He went to Brazil, Argentina, Portugal, Spain, Italy, and many more countries, and got cultured and learned about everything that is there. And with with a taste of music from different parts of the world. He learned different styles, different ways to approach music. His success didn't stop there. He kept his GPA so high that when he applied to Pepperdine, he got an app, like approval like this. And he was in with a full scholarship here. He's with us with a full scholarship right now. And he's trying to continue his career in marketing. But overall, Juan Mi is just an incredible man and such a positive guy. He was keeping me up with all the stress that I've gone through. And I just met him like a week ago, basically. <laughs> and I can't, like, I wouldn't say this for anyone I'm not really straight up like this. But I, I can tell he's a great friend and a great man. He's outstanding in problem solving and working hard and pushing himself to the limits. And he's a persistent man and he will always try to find hope in any circumstance. And thank you for everything that you've done.
for me for the last couple of days. I really appreciate it. Kwame, ladies and gentlemen.